C I E T N C E R T presents audio book Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class Three Page Number Ten Chapter Two The Plant Fairy Last Sunday we went to a garden in the neighborhood. We played hide and seek, chupan chupai. and antakshari we had a lot of fun after some time didi said let us play a new game today we had played this game in the camp last year i will become a plant fairy the plant fairy will call out a name of something and you all will have to touch it the game began didi said The plant fairy asks you to touch a plant. At once, all the children ran towards the plants. On page number 10, there is a beautiful picture of a garden with different beautiful flower and trees. Children and Didi are playing plant fairy game. Amu held the plant, marigold. Shabnam sat touching a jasmine plant. Dayaram caught hold of a neem tree and stood there. Michael touched a mehendi bush. Note: Children can be asked by what name games like chupan chupai and takshari are called in their regions. Page number eleven. Didi said. Very good. Everyone has touched a plant. But have you noticed that all the plants are different from each other? Didi, you are also sitting on little plants," said Shabnam. "Can you name the plant on which Didi was sitting?" The game started again. The plant fairy now said. Touch a tree which has either a thick or a thin trunk. The children ran again to touch the trees with thick or thin trunks. Have you seen a tree with a trunk as thick as the one shown in the picture? Michael found the game very interesting. He thought, "How lucky the fairy was! She could order everyone around." Now I want to be the plant fairy," said Michael. The children laughed aloud. "A, A boy, boy fairy. fairy!" They were now ready to take orders from the new plant fairy. Michael said, "Get me some leaves quickly." But remember, you're not to pluck the leaves from the plants," said Didi. The children ran to collect the leaves which were lying on the ground. Note: By playing this game, children will see the diversity in plants for themselves. It would be good if children became the plant fairy by turn, so that they themselves can choose the basis of classification. Page number twelve. Do all the leaves have similar colors, shapes and margins? There is a picture given here with different colorful leaves with different shapes and margins. Dayaram said, "I did not know that there were so many types of leaves. Look, some are round, some are long and some are triangular amu said they are of so many different colors as well some are light green and some are dark green some are even yellow red and purple there is one which is green but has white patches on it look even the margins of these leaves are different from each other some have straight margins and some uneven Some of these margins even look like a saw," said Shabnam. 
Amu and Shabnam shouted together. We also want to be the plant fairy. Didi said. Not today. Maybe the next Sunday. It is time to go home now. On the way back, Didi recited a poem for everyone. Didi recited a poem for everyone. Note. Children may collect different types of fallen leaves and find out the names of their plants. Page number 13 Leaves Red, purple and even yellow. Some green, wet and loose. Leaves are of different kinds and of different shapes and shades. Some are like the elephant's ears and some are playful like the devil. Some are torn and some are folded and some even eaten like the beetle. And in the early dawn's darkest hue, you will find the flowers cry tear like dew. Some are like butterflies, some like bees, some are hairy and some plain, some dry up to look thorns, and some even resemble cranes. Hoosh, hoosh, scuttle and flutter, in the breeze they all do mutter. All day long they smile and play, and in the night they sleep away. Leaves are of different kinds and of different shapes and hues. Vijendra Pal Sisodhya Translated from the Hindi Note Children like to recite poems, but they should not be forced to memorize them. It will be good if all the children recite the poem as a group in the class. Page number 14 1. Colour the leaves made around the poem. 2. Collect a few leaves of plants like lemon, mango, neem, basil or tulsi, mint or pudina and coriander or dhania. Crush the leaves and smell them. Do they all smell alike? Can you identify the leaves just by their smell? 3. Look at these beautiful pictures. They are made of dry leaves. There is a picture given here on page number 14 made with the help of different dry leaves of different plants. Pictures made are of an elephant, of a rat and of a kingfisher. 4. Using dry leaves, make pictures of different animals in your notebook. Note The artist Vishnu Chinchalkar, Indor, Madhya Pradesh, made beautiful pictures using dry leaves. These pictures are inspired by his works. Page number 15 Didi taught everyone how to take rubbings or prints of leaves and the tree trunks. All you have to do is 1. Take a paper and a crayon or colour pencil. 2. Place the leaf on a table or on the ground. It should be placed in such a way that the side of the leaf with veins is on the top. 3. Place a paper on the leaf. 4. Gently rub the crayon or colour pencil on the paper. 5. Be careful that the paper or the leaf does not move. Similarly, take rubbing of the trunk of a tree. Place a paper on the trunk and rub the crayon or colour pencil on it. Look! You have made rubbing of the tree trunk. Look at the rubbings made by others. Are the rubbings of different plants similar? Which leaf gave a good rubbing? In case of which tree was the rubbing of the trunk difficult? Why? Page number 16 Here is a picture. Name the things which have patterns of leaves and flowers on them. There is a picture given here on page number 16. 
it is a room with a wall painting curtains a bed with a beautiful bed sheet a carpet nearby with two pillows and a girl reading a book sitting on bed note children may talk to their elders or to a farmer or a gardener for knowing more about plants page number 17 one look for objects which have patterns of leaves and flowers on them in your house write their names there are four blank spaces given here fill in these blanks with the name of objects which have patterns of leaves and flowers in your house 2 you must have seen many plants and trees how many of them can you name write their names in the blanks given below there are eight blanks there 3 Are there any plants that you have heard of but never seen? Which ones? Name these plants in the blank spaces given below. There are 8 blank spaces given. 4. Ask some older people if there were plants which they have seen when they were children but are not seen these days. 5. Also ask them if there are any plants which can be seen these days but which were not seen earlier friendship with a tree choose a tree near your school or house and make friends with it a lasting friendship one what tree is it ask some elders if you don't know Two. Will you like to give your friend a special name? What will you name it? Note: Encourage children to make friends with a tree. Water it, look after it, and observe it minutely. This will develop their concern for the environment. Page number eighteen. Three. Does the tree bear flowers or fruits? Which ones? 4. How do the leaves of the tree look? 5. Do animals live in the tree? Which ones? Find out more about your tree friend and share it with others. Draw the picture of your friend tree and color it. Chapter 2 titled The Plant Fairy ends here You were just listening to the audiobook Looking Around Textbook in Environmental Studies for Class 3 Recorded by Butterlang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan Production Assistance by Meenakshi Kukreti Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India